With the release of the GoPro Hero 9 and the ability to easily replace the lens without voiding the warranty, the Hero 8 with its fixed lens has never been so irrelevant. With extra money thrown at the Hero 8, you can buy the roll cage attachment. The roll cage is a silicone cover that has a replaceable protective lens. I decided to test the lens as I couldn't find a decent stress test of the lens anywhere on YouTube. I started with the gas blowback airsoft gun that shoots at 350 feet per second with 0.28 gram BBs. Nothing but a smudge. Then I moved up to 450 feet per second with the same type of ammo. Still nothing. I then moved up to a Pelican that's set to shoot 600 feet per second with a 7 grain 177 caliber round. I shot the outer frame of the lens which made the stabilization freak out. The very outer edge received a little damage after bad aim. I tried again while aiming more towards the center. Still nothing but a smudge. The projectile itself has received more damage than the lens. I also tried hitting the lens with a high-powered muzzle blast of a rifle to see if the heat and pressure would crack the lens. Okay. <laughs> oh, stand by. On the second round, the lens came off but was perfectly fine. Keep in mind the blast alone is more than enough to tear your flesh apart all the way down to the bone. <laughs> and this will be my favorite selfie. Good. That's basically it for this video, but for monetization reasons, I'm going to talk about whatever comes to mind until this video is 10 minutes long. After recording the GoPro footage, my friend fired a few more shots out of the rifle and the muzzle on the gun blew up. Pieces of the muzzle flew everywhere. Some of it landed at my feet. At first I thought it was a ricochet of a stray bullet, but then my friend said his muzzle brake just came off, and then I laughed internally at him. Here's some, uh, I don't know what they're called, like bloopers or whatever. I started with a gas blowback airsoft gun that shoots 350 feet per second with two po- Ah, oh, darn. The I then moved up to a pellet gun that's set to shoot 600 feet per second with a 7 grain- No, oh, what? Are, that's a lot of words right there. I also tried hitting the lens with a high-powered muzzle blast of a rifle to see if the heat and pressure would crack the lens. That's not gonna sound good. So sometimes in the start of the video when I'm shooting the lens, you see sometimes there's a picture in picture with the GoPro footage. I don't always show it because for some reason, every time I do any type of slow-mo, no matter what frame rate or shutter speed or ISO, I experimented with all of it. For some reason, my lights always have the strobe effect. And I changed every, I, ch I literally changed ISO and then I cycled through every single shutter speed. And I actually shot my camera like so many times just trying to get some amount of non-strobing effects, but it was just like, it did not work, so, yeah. Before I had the GoPro 8, I had the GoPro Hero 3 Black. I had that for seven years. Got it just out of high school. I think that was like my dad's incentive. It was a reward for me to graduate high school and not be like a kid that gets held back. So I had the hero 3 for ever now i have the the gopro 8 bought it maybe a month or two before they uh released the 9 
So I bought the GoPro Hero 8 for like 250-ish dollars. So I think that's a pretty good deal because at the time they were still selling it for through more than 300 that's for sure. So yeah, use my GoPro a little bit, use it for work a little bit, put some extra screen protectors, the kind that like peel on and off. Uh, just in case the the rib cage didn't work for some reason. I gotta say the little feet that stick out the bottom of the GoPro are kind of cool. Well, the GoPro attachments so you don't have to have a case or whatever. And it keeps it slightly slimmer. It's really nice. One thing I really wish they had more of were GoPro night vision attachments. Because night vision camera adapters are either really janky or really expensive. And they just don't need to be. My stomach is making weird noises after eating all this popcorn and watching a lot of anime. We hit the six minute mark. I'm so, we're so close. What am I going to talk about for four more minutes? Uh, the SD card sizes for GoPros are pretty cool. Just going to throw that out there. I think my SD card is like 200 something gigabytes, which is absolutely mind blowing for me because coming from the three and having 64 gigabytes, the max is absolutely insane. And uh, this is my first time having a touch screen GoPro. So yeah, that's always really cool. Um, yeah. One thing I don't like about the roll cage is that you can't access the battery. Or um, if you have one of those, do like a third party door where you can plug in a charging port or whatever, then you can't access it unless you cut a hole into the rib cage or the roll cage. Yeah, that's kind of very inconvenient. Especially if you want to do something for more than three hours, which I think my battery life on my GoPro with actual GoPro GoPro batteries with the um, the stabilization thing that they have is like three hours. No, 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 it's not three hours. No, it's a lot less than that. Um, actually, no, maybe it was three hours. Battery life was three hours, I think. And then with on 10, 1080. Uh, with my 258 whatever 256 gigabyte memory card i could record for like a long time like many many hours and it's so cool but i can't <laughs> i can't record all that time because the battery doesn't last that long and i can't plug it in with the roll cage on and i don't want to cut a hole into my roll cage because it looks very nice with with it um on my gopro 3 i did all sorts of modifications to like the accessories i would buy just to make it work properly when I would go around and like run around doing my thing. Um, so yeah, I was gonna lead up to something, whatever. Um, I guess the go the new GoPro Nine isn't gonna have that problem because of the um, because of the, the the lens. You don't have to worry about the lens. You can just get the new door, a third party door, and then plug in your charger, and then you can just record all day with the the memory card because they have like insanely huge memory cards nowadays. Man, I wish I had the 9, <laughs> but that's how it is whenever you get a new GoPro. You get the new 8, and then the 9 comes out. You get ready to buy the 9, then the 10 comes out, and it just keeps going on and on and on. I also I also wonder what the GoPro 9's roll cage is going to be like, because they, they are going to make one. And I, uh, the quality could be immensely worse. Who knows? Uh, I doubt it, though. It's probably going to be on par, um, but like, who knows? No, like, yeah, the the roll cage for the 9, I believe, is designed not to fit on the 8. That way, the, you don't have any compatibility. It has to be for each specific GoPro so they get more money. I understand, to some extent, why dimensions change because of the technology and stuff, but... Ah, uh, man. If you want a real review on the GoPro Hero 9 roll cage, then you have to buy the GoPro 9's roll cage and test that. And you should probably have the GoPro in the roll cage, in my opinion, because the GoPro itself, like, or with just the silicone sleeve itself, just the roll cage itself without a GoPro, it's much more bendy, and that helps mitigate the force from the lens, which is why I don't take the lens out of the roll cage. I, I keep it exactly as it would be when you actually use the GoPro, because that's like a, a more realistic uh, scenario. You're not just gonna like have a roll cage and then and then just do stuff without the GoPro. So that's kind of like my thought process behind it. Um, yeah. Also, um, I have no idea what kind of material this is. This lens is made out of. I'm not sure if it's glass or 
Lexan or Poly, what's gonna call it. Um, I got a set of calipers. I'm gonna actually measure how thick this is because it, it's not that thick. It looks thick, but it's really not that thick. All right, got my calipers. I'm gonna set it to let's do millimeters first. There's a lip around it, so it's like really hard to do it properly. I need what's this? There's a bullet for this. Zero at this. Come on, zero. Let's press a button. Okay. All right. So two millimeters. The lens is about two millimeters. So gonna zero it again. Change it to inches. Zeroed. I should just record this. I don't know why I'm not. Point zero, basically point zero eight inches. So like eight hundredths of an inch. If I did that right. Calibers, I kind of, if you, <laughs> I, I, this is my first time owning a set of calipers. I, ah! um, I didn't buy calipers for this reason, but um, it's fun to just like grab stuff and just measure things with calipers. I don't know why. It's like something you would do when you're bored in school. You just like have a thing and then you like start playing with it. Okay, let's do... 